Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to display the author information, uh, who has posted this, and prior to that, we learned about posting the date and the URL, etc. In this video, we learn about how to show the excerpt and how to customize that excerpt uh, because sometimes we may need only few words from the excerpt, uh, not display using the default behavior of WordPress on excerpt. So if you are not aware about what excerpts are, if you can go to any of the posts. And edit it. On the right hand side, you have this excerpt section. So you can put like a summary of the post over here so that on the blog post page, we can show the summary. And when the user clicks on the single page, we can show the entire content. What happens is that when you use the excerpt, which is a WordPress function, it checks whether or not the post has an excerpt. If it has, it's gonna use that. Otherwise, if it doesn't have the excerpt and you still use the excerpt function and not the content, then it's going to trim out some of the content from the uh, actual content of the post and show that as an excerpt. Okay, so that's kind of a fallback. If you would like to trim the number of words for your excerpt, there are different ways of doing it. Now, I will be telling you several ways and then you can choose which is the most suitable one as per your project, as per your requirement. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is the WordPress function called WP Trim Excerpt. So what this does is it generates an excerpt from the content if needed. And by default, WordPress returns 55 words with an ellipsis appended if necessary. This is the ellipsis in case if there are more number of words, then it's just going to add this ellipsis at the end of those words, at the end of that content. Now, if you want to modify this default 55 words max limit, then there are certain hooks that are available. The very first one is the excerpt length filter. So let's take a look at this. What does it do? So this basically filters the maximum number of words in a post excerpt. And how do we use it? So what you can do is you can do add filter and then hook into this hook, except length and put your custom function on that. And whatever number you're going to return with this function will be your new max word limit. The only thing with this method is that this is going to be changed throughout your site because you're using a hook. There could be certain requirements where you have different layouts on different temp page templates, on different page templates. In that case, uh, probably this would not be a suitable option. And for that, I will, I will also be talking about uh, and showing you how you can create a custom function wherein you just have to pass a number over there, like how many characters you want to show and it will automatically take care of that. and you know, it will have certain permutation and combination and, and it's going to do the job for you. You It will su it can suit your needs in most cases. Okay, there's one more uh, hook that is available, which is accept more filter. So this filter basically filters this string in the more link displayed after the trimmed excerpt. So if you want to modify that more link, all you have to do is just do add filter and onto this hook onto this hook you call your function your custom function and then if you want to modify it you can modify it like so okay awesome so now i'm going to tell you about that custom function which we are going to create and then you can choose whichever way is best for your case let's begin okay so let's do that so what i'm going to do is basically go to our content so i'll close this and I'll go to WordPress entry content. This is where our content will come. And then we can give it the comment template for entry content to be used inside WordPress the loop. And we're already using that. If you remember, we are using it inside of content. We are just calling this 
uh, entry content here and then eventually we are using that inside of our index.php this content inside of the WordPress the loop okay great so I'm gonna say add package and then Aquila and then we'll create a div with a class of entry content and we're going to check whether or not if the user is on a single page or not if he's on a single page then you want to show the entire content otherwise we want to show the except okay so we'll check if oops so we'll check if is single then call the function called the content which is going to get me the content of the post inside the loop and inside of the content it also takes certain parameters so if you check it takes the more link text so content for when there is more text okay so you can add support for that so what you can do is you can say sprintf you pass that as a parameter and again we'll use wp kisses which basically escapes and looks for the allowed HTML so use translation function and then continue reading and then percentage s and then span tag opening and closing and inside of this I will have class and this will be meta nav and then we'll use and r a r r okay so this is going to give me this particular sign the arrow sign okay so we're just using the html entities for that okay that's that and then it's going to take the text domain so i'll just give the text domain as aquila okay and then it's going to take allowed html to so the allowed html in form of an array so what what should be allowed it should be only a span that should be allowed and inside of span we should only allow the attributes which is class okay so this is not only going to go ahead and uh, escape the html but also allow only span uh, and this class attribute okay so this will ensure the security and then finally it also takes the second parameter so if you check the the content if you check over here it says strip teaser which is the content before the more text so we can go ahead and use comma okay then sprintf takes the next parameter which will be for this percentage s and that will nothing but the title of the post so we'll say the title and then we'll pass a span inside of it because the title function takes a parameter which you want to use before and after so if you check the title it takes a string that can go before the title and after the title so in our case I want to insert a span tag before the title and a span tag after the title okay and the third parameter can be false so if you check the third parameter is actually echo do you want to echo it no I don't want to echo it I just want to return it okay so inside of the span tag I can have a class and class can be screen reader text so we'll be hiding it eventually okay and that's about it and over here we also want to wrap it inside of a quote so I'll pass a quote here I'll pass a quote here so it will be wrapped inside of a quote the text the title okay awesome otherwise if the user is not on a single page what we're gonna do is we'll show the excerpt so for the excerpt we'll create a function and that function will be created inside of the template tags and we're gonna name that function as Aquila the excerpt so function Aquila the excerpt and then trim 
character count. So I'm actually passing a parameter which will be equal to zero so that we can trim the characters of the excerpt according to our needs. So this is going to check if whether or not the post has an excerpt or if the trim character count is zero which means user has not passed user or the developer has not passed the trim character count in that case you just use the standard WordPress excerpt function and let it behave in a normal way and just return it from here so in case of you if we don't pass the character count and if the post doesn't have excerpt then we just want to use the WordPress default the excerpt function which I just explained is going to just uh, check if it has, ha has accept or not if uh, which in this case because we are already checking it doesn't have accept is going to trim down some of the content from the actual content of the post and show that as an accept like echo it out if that is not the case which means that if there is uh, excerpt that is available or user has passed the character count in that case we're going to trim it so first we have we need to get the excerpt so we'll create a variable called excerpt and then we'll use a function called wp strip strip all tags and then we'll use get the excerpt function so we have a wordpress function called get the excerpt it's going to get me the excerpt and not print it unlike the excerpt and if you check what does it do it properly strips out the html tag including a script and style going to strip out that in case if the user tries to enter the script tag or style tag is going to strip out all of that because we don't want to show that onto the front end and then again we'll say excerpt equals we'll use the php function called sub str and we'll pass in our excerpt inside of it and then we want to start from the zero index and i want to go up until the character count so let's say we pass 250 characters going to start from zero go up until 250 characters and trim the rest of it and then finally we write excerpt equals again substring and this time after passing the excerpt in zero we take the string position of str pause okay string position of the excerpt from the excerpt where there's an empty space. So what this is going to do is uh, it will display the first given characters for example 250 characters of a manually entered excerpt but instead of ending on the nth which is the 250th character it will truncate after the closest word. Okay. Now we'll just have to echo the excerpt and then concatenate it with this kind of sign which is this kind of uh, string which is kind of tells the user that there is something more to it okay awesome great so all I have to do now is just call this function Aquila the excerpt and where do we call this we call this inside of the content over here okay so you call it here and now if you go back and check and refresh you'll notice that we do have the this kind of sign over here which means it is actually uh, going ahead and showing the excerpt so what is happening is because we didn't pass anything in the parameter over here uh, it's coming and checking if it has the excerpt or not and if it doesn't ha have excerpt and we haven't passed anything it's going to just use the WordPress the excerpt which it's all of this case this case this case there's no excerpt but in beautiful valleys there is excerpt you can see that there is excerpt. So what happens in that case, since it does have, have excerpt, but we haven't passed anything, this condition is still met and it uses the WordPress default uh, the excerpt to show the excerpt basically. So it's actually showing the entire excerpt. If you notice in the post, it is going up until this STD, ST, just kind of a testing. So it is showing the entire excerpt over here. Okay, great. Now, let's say if we pass something, I want to show only like the 100 uh, or 200 for that matter so I can just pass like 200 over here and then if I refresh you'll notice that it has truncated and now it's showing only 200 characters uh, from here right 
and it's also stripping out the last word also because what will happen is that if you for example if you give like 200 characters and there is like it if it is truncating the the letters between half the word uh, for example there is a word after this that says hello and you if we count 200 characters it'll, it is going up and up until h e l it won't look good right so that is why we use this piece of code this statement over here uh, to go ahead and strip out the last word okay because the last word actually could be half etc so we are checking on to the position that wherever it finds the position of the excerpt with the with the space at the end towards the end of that line then it's going to just truncate that word okay so i hope that's clear to you and uh, this works for you and it looks good as well the, the next thing you want to do is add a read more to it and uh, that would allow the user to click on it and go on to the uh, single blog post page okay so I'll, we'll do that i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already do follow me on twitter uh, my twitter handle is kori tech and my github handle is imran and sayyad so please do follow me there and start my repository if you like my work and i'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much Bye bye